I uh, thought it might be beneficial for you guys to, you know, watch me playing, see how I think about the game and shit like that. So, uh, you know, let's get straight to it. First we queued into fucking Tenny. I beat this guy a couple times in a tournament. I think every time we've ever played in a tournament, I've beat him except for like maybe like one community tournament. So I have the fear factor, obviously. Unless he doesn't know it's me. Because I do have this name. Okay, he's dodging in. He ran at me twice in neutral. Here's a general rule of thumb on how to win in anything in life. There's two rules of thumb, actually. They both tie into each other. The first rule of thumb, the most important thing to be good at anything competitive is that you need to exploit everything you can about your opponent. So, we use chess as an example, right? I'm not sure how many of you play chess, but I'm sure even for the non-chess players, this should make sense. So, if somebody is not defending a piece on a board, on the board, then it is extremely exploit, like you get exploited very well, then you're up material, right? Anything that you can exploit, you exploit about your opponent. So anything, how that would apply to Brawl, anything you punish, you can punish by your opponent, you punish. Like, I know this guy's gonna run at me in neutral, so I exploit it and I punish. I know this guy is dodging up, so I exploit it and I punish. You find everything you can exploit by your opponent, and you just do it relentlessly and with the most optimal consistency. So, the next thing is that what you want to do is that you want to gather in Brahala and mostly any sports and stuff like that as much information about your opponent as possible. So, I want to see how this guy gets out of this edge guard. Okay, he goes above and he dodges before he hits the ground and he's using the platforms. So now I can use that for other scenarios, right? I know this guy always lands with an attack, from what I've observed so far, even though I'm talking. Um, he lands with an attack, he runs at me in neutral, he wants to hit me, as clearly showcased because he's dodging in and stuff. He uses his dodge a lot. All things I can exploit about my opponent. Right? So now, I'm going to exploit them with the most optimal uh, tendency. Out. I know this guy's gonna hit the top platform every time before it lands, which is annoying, but it's like, whatever. And also, I probably shouldn't use that language every time, because nobody does everything at every time. Any good player, when they get punished for something more than like, you know, three times, then they usually... See? See what I just did? I literally said to you guys, he goes above like that every time and you can exploit it, and then I just did it perfectly. Right there. I used the past information that I gathered about my opponent, and I hit him for it. So you gotta do that over and over. Yeah, but anyways, as I was saying. Um, great. So, as I was saying, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, everybody changes up, right? So, it's like, when I say every time, I just mean that now until he adapts, until I understand his pattern of adaptation. So it's like, that's his habit. That's what I mean by every time. So you'll always go back to that. So you can usually find people's like base habits um, in the beginning of the game. And they'll usually go back on that and like uh, when they're scared. So like people will always, this is true to everything in life, honestly. Like every time people are scared, they're going to go back to their base, like their like default pretty much. It's like true for fucking humans like every time we're scared we go back to the base biological like default right so it's like if i'm in a fight most of the time unless i've been trained to do so it's flight or flight response like unless i'm trying to fight it it's flight or fight response or it's just anger and it's like you don't control it. you're not thinking like oh i should jab here and then left hook. like unless you've been trained to do so like Usually, it's just your biological instinct taking over when shit gets wicked, right? And it's the same thing for Brawla. Oh shit, I'm dodging up. I'm fucking stupid. Um, it's the same thing for Brawla. Every time shit gets wicked, every time people are like genuinely scared that they might lose, they always go back to their base habits. So, 
let's say it's 2-2 last stock red at grand finals both players are playing off of their base habits <laughs> especially defensively let's say tenny's defensive base habit is dodging up right tenny is almost always gonna dodge up and 2-2 last stock red bo5 situation um if it's like high stakes right because it's like there's some people obviously that, that can like hold their nerves and that's why everyone practices that's why people like practice and they do money matches and stuff because they want to simulate like being scared so they can learn to control it and stuff like that it's also why people practice to have like a base play style that encompasses everything that's why people want to be consistent because if you like know everything about the game but you don't have it organized in like an or orderly manner into like one like game plan then it's hard for you to win because when shit gets wicked it's like becomes very difficult to actually do anything you just like become really passive because it's just like you just get really scared because you don't have a base game plan to like tie you down if that makes sense ready dodge yeah dodge for you at the ground also important thing to note you gotta notice where people are fading after their dodges so like some people will dodge in but then fade away right or someone will, will fade away but then dodge in so you have to pay attention to that especially when juggling so like I used to have a problem with this for a while. Like, I'll see somebody dodge in the air, and then I'll just try to punch the dodge out, right? But I'm not close enough. So, like, I won't realize that they're just drifting. Like, look. Ready? See, like, I'm stupid, and I thought he was going to dodge in that fastball, but nobody does that. He dodged in and then jumped away. People do that a lot. People cover what they do with, the, like, opposite things. So, it's like, oh, shit, I just stuffed them out with that fucking weapon there. Ready? That was dumb of him. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so, like, when I'm juggling this guy, I'll show you. Like, when I nair him, he's gonna dodge, and then he's gonna fade away opposite direction. Wow, he makes up his dodge up. But now, another thing, when you're, um, in a vanish state, when you hit something like that, and you miss the read, people take note of that, and they usually don't dodge in the same direction they dodged before, but... Over a long enough time frame, people might forget something like that, so they might, like, you know, dodge regular. Let me fix up so I don't lose. Bad from me. But he doesn't know how to punish it correctly. So uh, I have a feeling this guy's gonna cheese me. And the important thing about cheesers is you have to like not be scared of them. Because it just helps the cheese work. Fuck. That's so broken. That's another tool you can use, exhaust to recover it. It's like a last ditch effort. Fuck, I'm like missing footing and shit. So dumb, I just have to attack this guy when he's also another thing, regardless, well if you're playing heavy one, this doesn't really apply as much. But it's really okay to whiff when you're in a vanish state because it's like it's very the most that will happen is that they'll like especially with weapons that have like supreme states of advantage, like um bow. 
like it's okay to whiff because it's like the most that will happen is just they'll get out of um, disadvantage. Should I just have a little movement? Oh. <laughs> but yeah. I'm so dumb. Like, I literally said at the beginning of, like, this uh, game to not be scared of people's cheese, and then, like, I'm just gonna, like, jump away. Yeah, I actually struggle a lot against, like, Wuxiang cheese. Just because it's like I don't have the patience. It's also like I struggle a lot against double whiffers because I just like to punish everything I see. At least try to. It's, it's a bad habit, I know, but it's just like, fuck. It's just so fun. Haha. <laughs> That doesn't pick up grounded, by the way, but, um, he dodged, and then he was barely off the ground when he dodged. So that's why I caught. If you're thinking that's broken, that's not broken. Yumiko needs it. Well. So Adam Cool is like a fucking world-renowned double whiffer. This guy's like, uh... And if you're wondering what I mean by double whiff, like, I'll show you, like, watch what I'm doing. That's a double whiff. Yep, I just told you. Fast fall again, Adam Cool. See what happens to you. Jump. My old jump is insane. From Adam J. Cool. So it's like, I could have punished that dodge off of the end light, but I knew that he was going to do something out of it so fast, so I could just punish the other thing. Okay, so he's not fast falling anymore. And he just fast all right, as I said, he wasn't fast falling anymore. Come here, Adam. Oh. I'm about to show you the spot dodge bait. That's the spot. That's the cannon. That's the cannon special. Y'all, y'all don't know about the the spot dodge cannon special fucking bait, bro. You ready? He's gonna dodge into the stage. Oh fuck! I knew he was gonna do like some aggressive. Shit. You should always lump options together with each other. There's offensive options or defensive options. Like when people are in disadvantage, they. So it's like this guy, Adam Cool, is very offensive and disadvantage state, so I know he's gonna like wake up or he's gonna dodge in or something. He just like wants to hit me all the time. That's his that's his intention, that's his game plan. He just wants to hit me, he's like running at me in neutral and dodging in and shit. Ready? He's gonna come on stage with attack. Yeah, I fucking knew it, but I'm so slow. I keep like missing putting. I'm playing really bad right now. <laughs> like that. Come here. Come here. Come here, Adam. Cool. Fuck. Dodge in? No dodge in, unfortunately. Oh, let's not get fucking robbed. Here, we're gonna kill this guy because we're gonna bait him with the spot dodge on cannon. It's cannon. He knows. I've done it too many times. What? Yo, Hammer is so bad. Oh my god. That is so insane how I can't kill him even though I hit the D like there. Alright. Hope that was beneficial. Peace out, y'all.